I'm going to show you how to use an if error formula, which is a really useful formula in Excel. I use it quite often. So let me show you. Um, so for an example, I want to find my revenue per sale. So in order to do that, I do I would do equals revenue divided by sales. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that formula down. And you can see that in cell E, I get an error because it's trying to divide and there's nothing here for this, the number of sales. And that's fine, it's showing me that it might be an error, I need to look into that. But when I go to sum this column, it will tell me, oh, wait, it can't sum it because there's not a, they're not all numerical values, which can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. But for me, I don't want that, I want it to sum that. So in order to get rid of that divide by zero, I'm gonna use the if error formula. So I have this formula here, and in order to use if error, I just add to this formula here. So I'm gonna do if error, open parens, and then it has my formula to get revenue per sales. And then what it's saying is, is if there's an error, like the divide by zero, what do I want it to say? And that could be a text, it could be a number. I want it to be a number so that my sum formula will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put zero here. I'm gonna close this off and I'm gonna hit enter. And it looks like it didn't do anything because that one was correct, so it's not gonna do anything. So let me go ahead and copy this down and boom. So now it made this, instead of a divide by zero, it made it a zero which will allow my sum formula to add it up because they're all numerical values. And that's a simple if error formula. You can add it to the front of any formula you would like.